Just another day in paradise, allowing your skin to breathe through its pores. As you inhale through the nose, you inhale peace, relaxation, health, vitality, radiance of virtues. And on the exhale, as you exhale, releasing all worries, all stresses, all fears, all negativity that's not serving you. The great thing about positivity and negativity is that they're elusive to what they actually stand for. People may think negativity is a bad thing, but it's actually a great thing. Negativity is one of the best things we have. We can negatively remove fear from our life, negatively remove illusions and distractions and stress, negatively remove our teaching that's no longer serving you, negatively remove, you know, people that aren't benefiting you in your life, remove them from your immediate social circles. These are just a few things that negativity is seen in the positive light. And positivity can have the opposite effect of what people think it is. Oh, you're so positive. Oh, you're so positively adding stress into my life. Oh, you're so positively worrying me. Oh, you're so positively adding more burdens and illusions into my life. These are examples of how words can be elusive and don't always stand for the direct meaning that they portray sometimes. So by recultivating and setting the intention on the words you say and the meanings for what they mean when you say them, you are reanalyzing how your speech pattern affects the world around you. Because words are very powerful. They're a very powerful source of manifestation we have. Please get me that. Somebody grabs it and picks it up and brings it to you. Through just the vocalization, communication. But there's so much more to communication than just the communication of words. There is the body language. There is the energetic language. There is the communication on the soul level. And there's the communication through the eyes. The eyes directly tell. Eye contact when you're talking seriously to someone is very important. When you're able to cultivate a deeper sense of being yourself, not worrying what other people think, you start <laughs> cultivating a deeper sense of yourself, a deeper sense of who you truly are as a being of light and awareness. You are worth the time and effort put into your experience. By cultivating something grand or more radiant within yourself through the vocalization, the aspect of mantras and gestures, you begin cultivating something more radiant into your experience. Cultivating a deeper sense of presence and grounded and rooted sensations. When you can become fully present within yourself, you are speaking on another level to people. You are communicating them the truth of yourself. And that is the radiance of the universe. Have a lovely rest of your day. Namaste.